That's right, Mark. If uh, organizers have their way, this empty church parking lot would soon be filled with tents that could hold up to a total of 80 people. This week, the city council had an opportunity to fast track the camp, but it refused to do so. Many homeless already call the streets around the church home. There is a food program here that many take part in. Robert Smiley runs the Hand Up Project that's pushing for the camp. This indifference and this not doing anything is making matters worse. Many of those who would be staying at the church camp were kicked out of this camp along Rucker a few weeks ago, also organized by Smiley. The city shut it down because it lacked the proper permits. Like that camp, the majority of the 100 or so campers at the church would be transitioning into housing or drug treatment. It's designed as a place to keep people from slipping even more deeply through the cracks. The city just doesn't seem to understand that by not doing anything about it, they're actually causing more of a problem here. The plan is to set up camp for 90 days, after which the stay could be extended. It would have fences, toilets, and trash cans. No drugs would be allowed. But some neighbors, who asked not to be identified, tell us they're already getting harassed by the homeless. Camping Smiley says those issues will be addressed. That We're not trying to open up some crime zone. We're trying to open up something that is protective of the community for the community. I'm tearing up, I'm sorry, but you know, this is real life. Because of homeless health concerns due to the pandemic, City Councilwoman Liz Vogeli asked the camp be fast-tracked and the discussion period shortened from 45 days to seven, but her request was denied by fellow council members. Why shouldn't we wait the full 45 days to give the public a chance to hear about things and weigh in? You know, we're in an emergency and I think that we need to treat it like we're in an actual emergency. So we will have to wait at least 45 days now to find out the fate of the camp. That fate ultimately rests in the hands of the city's planning director. We will keep you posted. For now, live in Everett, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.